Hi, it's Iris Glasson and thank you for watching. Today I'll be talking about something quite exciting um, until I actually demonstrate it. <laughs> Might still be exciting afterwards, but anyways, I'm going to try out something called Bing Code Search, if I remember what it's called correctly. My mind is a little bit kind of off today because as you might be able to see and hear, I am sick. I probably got a cold, I'm not feeling too well, but I wanted to record anyway, but I couldn't be bothered dressing up or making a big thing out of it. So you'll just have to take, you know, whatever I can deliver today. Anyways, um, Bing Code Search was released not too long ago. I, of course, immediately I wanted to check it out. It allows you, it's an extension for Visual Studio, which means you, so you can't use it in Express because you can't install extensions in Visual Studio Express. But in all other Visual Studio versions, which you pay for, you can add this extension and it will allow you to do smart searches in line in code, which is kind of kind of cool. I like the idea, it's very neat, and I believe it uses Roslyn to do that. Um, don't place any money on that, I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, I'm going to demonstrate it really quickly. I'm going to talk about what I think about it. I've only tried it actually for a few minutes. I just want to make sure that I record my fresh impressions. And of course, this is a tool and this is an extension that they'll probably keep working on. So it's not perfect today, but let's not give up on it yet. Let's go to the demonstration. Okay, first things first, where can you find this? In Visual Studio Gallery on the website there, you can do a search for Bing Code Search for C Sharp and you will find the extension. So it's an extension, which means that you cannot add this to Visual Studio Express, which is the free version of Visual Studio. If you have a look here, there'll be a description, fairly short. It doesn't do too much right now, the extension. The reviews are a little bit so-and-so, and there are some questions and answers. In particularly, there, um, there are some issues. I'm going to point one of them out. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm not feeling well. Now, if you go to Bing Code Search um, online, they have codesnippet.research.microsoft.com. You can try it out online. They keep showing, so they have this video, and I, I love the effort that they actually have a video demonstrating it. They have a video where they show how it works and they keep using this file, I mean they'll show how to work with the file. And this is quite interesting because of course if you do this now and you search it will find quite a few things for you and you can even see um, that it's actually using, making usage of the variable that was defined above pth. Um, quite bad variable name really but anyway it does find a few uh, options here, most of them will probably be Stack Overflow. So that works fine. I tried, uh, of course, I'm, since I'm a Windows Store app developer, among many things, uh, I wanted to see how it works with specific libraries. For us, there would be the WinRT library. So whenever I try to do a search for that, uh, Windows uh, Store apps take photo, if I want to do a tab, and I've tried very different ways of form. Um, of saying this, like how do I and so on, if it was to depend on the exact combination of the word. <coughs> but no suggestions, it doesn't work too well. So my experience is, is it's, you know, so far at least online, it's fairly limited, you can use it for a couple of things, but it doesn't seem to find everything. Now if I was to be more specific and say exactly what I'm looking for, and I know there is something called um, media capture, which I know this is a class that exists in the WinRT library and I hit tab, you would kind of expect to find more suggestions, but actually it doesn't find much. Now if I compare this to using searchcode.com, I mean there are many different places where you can do a search for code. I really miss Google's code search. Unfortunately, that one is not available anymore. <coughs> not since a few years back, I believe. But if you use a search code and do a search here, I actually have a macro uh, I use to do search uh, and input this in Visual Studio. So I use something called auto hotkey. So I'll, I'll type something I'm searching for, then I have a keyboard shortcut and it will look for it will it will look for suggestions um, and then afterwards help me pipe that to Visual Studio. Anyway, that is a completely different video. 
if I have a look here, at least I find more things that are relevant and I can also filter on Stack Overflow. The problem is, however, however, when I click on Stack Overflow, I don't see the code immediately. I see the different questions, but it still, it still manages to find something compared to Bing code search. So I really hope that they will put some more effort into that and expand it, which I assume they will. But let's go ahead and install this in Visual Studio and have a look at it there. Obviously, you can download the extension from the site I showed you, or you can go to Extensions and Updates in Visual Studio. And as you can see, I've already installed it. Otherwise, you click on Online and you do a search and then you install it. That's it. So, if you have ReSharper installed, it's not going to work. Today, uh, today is 17th of February, I believe. Today, it does not work with ReSharper. However, I know ReSharper is really fast on releasing updates to fix things. And even if the error is not on ReSharper's side, I assume there's just a collision there. I assume this will be fixed fairly soon because it's such a popular tool to use. If you go to Options, and you go to ReSharper, if you're too lazy to scroll through the list, you can just uh, search here, just hit Control E and start typing and then enter. And you will find here, yeah, I should have closed that down. You will find here ReSharper and you just suspend it. As you can see, I've done that. So I'll resume afterwards. To use it in Visual Studio, it's not like you use it um, in, the, in the web application. What you do is you hit control space, which is how you invoke IntelliSense in Visual Studio. And then this is really annoying to me. You actually have to click with the mouse pointer on it to do a search. So if I do, a, let's see, something that you should be able to find, like how do I do a reverse loop? I really don't need to have how do I, I just write reverse loop. How do I do that? Hit enter. Wait a little bit. It's fairly fast. Um, okay, so yeah, here is here is uh, here is one suggestion. Hmm. That was. I mean, this one is fairly good. There's another one here. Okay, yeah, that would kind of similar thing going on. Hmm. That's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. 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 I know exactly what I'm looking for, so that's why I'm flipping through it. So you can see here, I found my little reverse loop. I can see the offer, the source, and the rating. Not sure where the rating comes from, actually. I'd like to know how they calculate the rating. Anyway, I hit enter and it adds it in and ho oh, oh, we're all happy, happy. And as you can see, it even adds a comment with what I searched for. So, I mean, this works. And as you saw in the example, you can even add your own variables to the code that you find. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure I would actually do that. I don't know how I feel about that. But if I was now to try again with... Um, how do I, and I try, for example, um, media, I'll just do the media capture again, and I, I hit enter. And I actually have two things it found today, and you can see here a camera capture UI. So let's try and use uh, camera capture UI instead. I like that it gives uh, suggestions. Now when I use the camera capture UI, I do get a few more suggestions. I'll see some, but they're still kind of disappointingly few. I think it does a kind of a bad job working with uh, this specific library. <coughs> <coughs> yep, I'm coughing on a YouTube video. People are going to love that. Anyways, this was just a short demonstration of it. Um, download it, have a play with it. Let me know what you think. I think I'll probably avoid this. I am, I'm a little bit conflicted with how I feel with using, you know, kind of the copy and paste. At the same time, you do make use of, you know, suggestions from other people. Um, what I'm kind of disliking is a little bit, uh, putting in your own variables and making it easier for people to just straight away use somebody else's code without having to read through it properly. At the same time, I don't know if it's an extension's responsibility to force us to do that. But this does bring up a lot of interesting discussions and I'd like to hear what people think and feel about this. I'm conflicted. I don't know how I feel about this. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I do like smart search and I do rely on using search engines every day. And I don't use Bing a lot, I'll have to admit to that, because I live in Sweden and it just doesn't work too well with the Swedish language. 
but I do like that is it is faster than the other code search that I use. And I think with a little bit of tweaking, it can become really, really good. But as it is right now, today, I don't think it's more that it's more uh, something I can play around with a little bit. And having to disable a tool I use so much, ReSharper, because I have all my keyboard shortcuts kind of mapped to ReSharper, Re that means that I won't be using this while I'm actually working on projects and I kind of need to deliver faster. So this was my little evaluation. I hope you liked it. Give it a go and let me know what you think. And yeah, let's uh, cross our fingers and keep working on this. So take care. I'm going to drink some water and I'm so sorry for coughing in the microphone, but I don't think I have the voice to record this over. Okay, cool. Take care. Bye. <coughs> mm.